Today we're talking with design resident Brian Parnham, jeweler, drawer, artist extraordinaire, and he's going to talk about uh, his lifestyle and his translation from copper, silver, jewelry into translucent porcelain. Hi, my name is Brian Parnham. Uh, I'm the designer in residence here at the Bright Angle. I graduated from Virginia Commonwealth University uh, in the Craft and Material Studies program. Penland is a craft school in North Carolina. When I graduated, that was one of the first uh, things I looked into. Um, I applied for you know, everything I could find. And that was one of the few places that I got into the work study program. And after spending about a year there, uh, I was accepted into the core fellowship. So I'm a jeweler, predominantly a metalsmith. Um, but the great thing about the core fellowship and really about Penland in general is they have loads of studios. Um, I got to do woodworking and uh, work in the iron studio. I was uh, to printmaking and uh, drawing and photography, and just loads of stuff. Um, I think more importantly than the technical skills though, I left with a community. Um, here in North Carolina, it's really strong, but people travel to Penland and uh, they invite instructors. So leaving, leaving the program, I could travel anywhere in the country and there was, there was people that supported me and could uh, you know, lead me to the next available opportunity. I don't know if I really chose the nomadic lifestyle. It's really uh, all that is available for a craftsperson right now, at least for me. Some people can you know, find jobs working for other craftspeople, but if you want to pursue uh, something individually, like your own voice, um, there's no path set out for you. So I've always jumped from residencies to short jobs to uh, make ends meet and try and see as much of the country as I can while I'm doing it. My dream job would be what I'm doing now, but more security, uh, maybe hustling not quite as hard, and a little bit more back from my efforts. I spend the grand majority of my time in the studio because that's what I love to do. Um, it's my job, but it's also uh, what gives me energy and what keeps me excited. I don't have a huge ceramic vocabulary. I don't know the materials. Um, I studied a little bit in college, but getting to be here, uh, I was able to marry my own interests and the techniques I understand in metalsmithing with uh, the possibilities of slip casting. And that's sort of how we ended up with the project that I've been working on. The benefit for working in different materials is um, you, you have more opportunities. It's the same as knowing more about language or knowing more about uh, other cultures. Um, the more information you have, the more possibilities are available. I normally work in silver. Uh, it meets the requirement that I want something that uh, I can etch. I want something that has perceived value. Um, I want something that can be sturdy. Uh, and I work really graphically, so being able to turn silver from uh, its normal sort of light white color to black using patinas is uh, really the way I began working with silver. A lot of my designs uh, begin uh, with a grid and it's just playing around with uh, the possibilities of tessellating ge geometric forms. Um, I'm interested in the difference between uh, what can be really complex and what can be really simple and where those can meet, uh, where something really complex your eyes can't quite fall on the detail and you sort of have to see the whole thing at once. And in that regard, it's the really complex becomes a, a surface treatment and it becomes very simple. But I, I'm just driven by what I think is elegant or cool or something that could uh, start a conversation. I do kind of think a lot of my work would look, uh, <laughs> I think it would look good like if you were in uh, like a Star Wars movie, but it was like um, all of the stormtroopers and they're like class B uniforms at like a, uh, like a casual work function, like a casual work party, that's where it would live. 
Uh, you can find my website. It's just my name, www.brianparnum.com. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Brian Parnum. This is a test of our national emergency system. Testing. Check, check, check one, check, check. There's two muffins in an oven. One muffin says to the other, man, it's getting really hot in here. The other says, the other muffin says, oh my God, a talking muffin. Triple check, double check, triple flip a double check. <laughs>